The UK Ministry of Defense's Project Greyburn represents a pivotal shift in modernizing the British Army's small arms arsenal, aiming to replace the aging SA-80 rifle family by 2030 with up to 180,000 new systems. Launched amid evolving battlefield demands, the program seeks enhanced lethality, potentially through adoption of larger calibers like 6.8x51mm, offering superior range, armor penetration, and stopping power compared to the current 5.56mm NATO round, effectively making the new rifle much more lethal as part of a wider goal to make the Army 10 times more lethal. Still in its concept phase, Greyburn emphasizes modular designs, suppressor integration, domestic manufacturing for supply chain security, and compatibility with advanced optics and soldier systems. The following are the potential candidates being considered by the UK's Ministry of Defense as part of Project Greyburn, the initiative to replace the British Army's aging SA-80 assault rifle. Beretta Defense Technologies, a key contender in Project Greyburn, proposes its new assault rifle platform, NARP, a modular AR pattern rifle with ambidextrous controls and multi-caliber capabilities, including options for 6.8mm to boost lethality. Beretta's strategy includes upgrading a UK facility in Lincolnshire for domestic production, potentially creating jobs and ensuring up to 100% local manufacturing. This aligns with Greyburn's focus on sovereign capability, integrating ammunition from Norma Group and optics from Steiner. NARP's design emphasizes reliability in harsh environments, seamless suppressor use, and integration with modern soldier systems, positioning it as a versatile replacement for the SA-80. The Sako ARG, offered through BDT, emerges as a strong candidate for Greyburn's dismounted close combat and support roles. Designed for extreme conditions, the ARG features a short-stroke piston system for enhanced reliability, modular construction allowing caliber swaps, including potential 6.8mm for increased lethality, and compatibility with suppressors and advanced sights. Already in service with Finnish and Swedish forces as the M23, it boasts proven cold-weather performance and accuracy. BDT pledges UK-based manufacturing, tying into Greyburn's industrial strategy for supply resilience. This rifle's adaptability and robust build make it ideal for UK troops facing diverse operational environments. Heckler & Koch positions its HK416 and HK433 as prime candidates for Greyburn. The HK416 a piston-operated M4 variant in 5.56mm with multi-caliber potential is battle-tested by forces like the US Marines and French Army, offering superior reliability over direct impingement systems. The lighter HK433 adds modularity for quick barrel and caliber changes, potentially to 6.8mm for amplified lethality. Both integrate seamlessly with suppressors and optics, aligning with Greyburn's modernization goals. Heckler & Koch's emphasis on durability and precision, plus possible UK production partnerships, could secure a sovereign edge for British forces in high-intensity conflicts. SIG Sauer advances its MCX family, including the MCX Spear M7 and MCX LT, as adaptable options for Greyburn. These short-stroke piston rifles support multiple calibers, notably the 6.8x51mm Fury for enhanced range and armor defeat, key to the 10 times more lethal aspiration. The modular design allows rapid reconfiguration, suppressor optimization, and lightweight construction around 9 pounds. Proven in US Next Generation Squad Weapon Trials, the MCX excels in reliability and ergonomics. SIG's potential for UK manufacturing partnerships would bolster Greyburn's domestic focus, providing a future-proof platform for integrated soldier systems. The FN SCAR L Mark III stands out as a modular candidate for Greyburn, featuring a short-stroke piston based on AR-18 mechanics for high reliability in 5.56mm with options for larger calibers like 6.8mm to heighten lethality. 
Used by special forces worldwide, it offers quick barrel swaps, ambidextrous controls, and suppressor compatibility. Its robust construction handles adverse conditions, aligning with UK operational demands. FN's emphasis on versatility and proven combat performance positions the SCAR as a commercial off-the-shelf solution, potentially with UK manufacturing to support Greyburn's sovereign strategy and seamless integration with modern accessories. The CZ Bren 3 a short-stroke piston rifle co-developed with Colt presents a compelling option for Greyburn. Chambered in 5.56mm with multi-caliber adaptability, including 6.8mm potential, it draws from AR-18 heritage for enhanced durability and modularity. Features include quick-change barrels, ergonomic design, and compatibility with suppressors and optics. Already in service with Czech forces, it offers reliability in varied environments. As a modified off-the-shelf platform, the Bren 3 could integrate UK-specific modifications, supporting domestic production goals and providing a cost-effective, lethal upgrade over the SA-80. Knight's Armament Company offers the KS-1, SR-16, and SR-25 as contenders for Greyburn. The KS-1, a direct impingement rifle, prioritizes accuracy and lightweight design in 5.56mm with potential for caliber upgrades. The SR-16 5.56mm and SR-25 7.62mm are renowned for precision in special operations. These systems integrate advanced rails for optics and suppressors, enhancing lethality through better targeting. While not piston-operated like rivals, the company's focus on modularity and reliability suits Greyburn's needs. Expanding UK adoption, possibly via local production, could address short-term gaps before full rollout. The UK's Project Greyburn is expected to generate economic benefits through job creation, regional investment in manufacturing, and strengthening the UK's industrial base and export potential. By fostering a domestic small arms capability, it aims to create high-skilled jobs, particularly in the Midlands, support UK manufacturers in the supply chain, and position the UK to export defense technology globally. The project is also intended to improve national security resilience by ensuring a sovereign supply of weapons for the British Armed Forces. In conclusion, this project represents a pivotal shift for the British Army, balancing immediate needs for reliable weaponry with long-term adaptability to emerging threats. As tenders unfold in 2026, the outcome could influence NATO small arms trends, ensuring British forces remain agile and lethal on future battlefields.